Hey yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of Listen. If they can't grow with you, they can't go with you. I repeat. If they cannot grow with you, they cannot go with you. Wherever you're going, wherever you're at in this world, if you're a person of constant growth, okay, somebody that's constantly trying to grow and you haven't reached your goals or where you're, what you're trying to, or who you're trying to grow into or where you're trying to go in life it's likely because you got people around you who are not growing at the same rate they're stagnant and they're keeping you stagnant they're keeping you from moving forward they're slowing you down okay there's old saying if they're not holding you down they're holding you down you know what i'm saying this is one of the most important things to remember when you're in a state of constant growth and when you're trying to reach another level, what are the next level in life? Whatever it is, business, personal relationships, whatever it is, constant growth is required. What is growth? How do you how do you how do you constantly grow? It takes number the first thing it takes is for you to be accountable for your thoughts and actions. Your thoughts and actions create your reality. Okay? You have to be responsible for your positive and negative thoughts and actions. The next thing is self correction. You have to while you're growing you have to be able to see where you failed in the past right as your old self and be able to self-correct that those faults to step to the next level it's very easy to tell if somebody's serious about growth or if they're actually growing no matter what they tell you you have to look at their actions it's it's a it, look just just when somebody tells you they're growing, okay, and you, you, you leave them alone for a few months, and then you come back into their life a few months later, and they're still thinking and talking and behaving the same way, that shows you who this person is. They're not, they haven't grown. They could tell you, I'm growing, or I'm growing on my own time, and it takes time. And listen, you've been, you've been in the same spot mentally, emotionally physically financially for this last 15 years it's never them and their mind you are the company you keep so if you stay around these people you're going to stay in the same situations and predicaments they're in because they're going to see to it they're going to see to it that you don't grow because they, they know that they know you're actually guess what they know that you're a person of growth they know this that's why they're around you they enjoy being around somebody who's you know a go-getter and in a in a in an overachiever and all there's somebody that's out to to get theirs that is inspirational to everyone so you add value to their life what are they adding to your life? What are they adding to your growth? They're nothing. They're sucking you. They're sucking your energy. They're sucking your resources. They're sucking your 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 uh, uh, your peace, your drive, your inspiration. They're sucking it, and they're blocking what is meant for you. But again. This is your fault because you haven't let go. You haven't let go. 
You got a hundred reasons why you can't let go. All you need is one reason to let go. It just has to be important enough. Now, this is not easy. I know, I know this is extremely difficult leaving people behind, okay? Because you don't, you know, you, you, you're thinking about how they feel about you leaving and moving forward. So what they'll do, watch what they do. What they'll do is they'll shame you, right? They'll shame you and say, well, how could you do this to me? How could you move forward and grow without me? How could you uh, leave me behind, <laughs> right? And, and, and it's like, yo, no, I gave you an option. I told you that I recognize that you're not growing. People that are not growing and they're stagnant, they know that they're stagnant. So they'll shame you instead of doing the work and saying, okay, I'm coming along and I'm gonna grow with you, right? I'm gonna put in the effort. Instead, I tell everybody you did them, you did them wrong and it's their fault that you weren't unable to grow and you think you're better than them and all this kind of nonsense, don't listen to it. Do not fall for it. If they're not willing or able to grow with you, they don't deserve to go with you. See, growth requires work. And most people don't wanna put the work in. It requires self-reflection. It requires self-accountability. It requires self-responsibility self-determination self-discipline okay self self-consciousness the consciousness of self you have to know thyself to better thyself and most people are just not ready to do that work because to to, to get to the next level you got to first deal the first step is to deal with your own bullshit check your own bullshit Growth also requires standards, new standards. The things that you allowed, okay, three, four years ago, you should not be allowing that in your life, okay, if it did not serve you. You gotta change your friends sometimes. You gotta change your surroundings, okay? You gotta change your environment in order to grow sometimes. Whatever the growth requires is what you do. Your loyalty should not lie anywhere except within what serves your growth. Growth requires letting go. One door is closed, the other one opens. You can't open the other door until the other door is closed. This is the corridor of life. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet lifestyle connoisseur and these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur i'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of